Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of What Do You Need to Know to Move to Costa Rica. Today, working from Costa Rica is our topic. Once again, I'm Patrick Jager, joined as always by my business partner and great friend, Aaron Bailey. Hey, Aaron. Hello, Patrick. Good to see you. Good to see you. Now, before we get into the topic, something that we want to do and start doing a little earlier, because we know not everybody follows till the end. What do you want them to know, Aaron? If you like our videos, want to see more, smash that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up button. We would really appreciate it. And leave us a comment. We love to interact with uh, all of you who are viewing these videos. We really do. I think we've answered every single person that's responded. We have. We Even have. some people that weren't that nice, but that's okay. No, exactly. Just, a little no, rude, but that's hey, all right. Yeah, that's I fine. Mean, it is important for people to remember that this is our opinion. Like we're not Complete saying that opinions. we are, we are not creating a, uh, a, a encyclopedia entry here. Exactly. Yes. All right. This is just our opinions. Let's all relax. Pura Vida. <laughs> yeah. We're not saying any names, but let's all relax. Okay. Today's topic. Working from Costa Rica, we get this a lot. A lot of people want to know, can we work from there? How do we work from there? Is it easy to work from there? What do I need to bring? Um, and we, we just recently worked with a client that was really freaking out about this. Um, you know, most of us do work remotely here. So Aaron, what are some of the things that we need to figure out? And let's start that with like, can you approach work the same way you do in the States or do you have a new normal once you live here? Well, first of all, um, don't expect to come to Costa Rica and get a, a physical job in Costa Rica. I think it is possible to do. You can get a work visa, but it's hard and it's complicated. You don't want to take a job away from a Tico. Um, you can't get a, a visa if someone uh, in Costa Rica can be employed for that same position. So most likely, as you said, Patrick, you're going to be working online uh, from Costa Rica for a U.S., Canadian, European country, uh, company. Um, so orient yourself to remote work. It's what everyone's doing. Not always easy, but uh, you can, you know, everyone figures it out. Yeah. And, and I guess to echo kind of the question I was going to do as far as the new normal, you know, once you are here things operate at a different pace. So like if you're having a meeting, it's kind of like when I lived in LA, you could blame traffic on everything. You can kind of blame living in Costa Rica on anything. I'm, I'm running late. The meeting didn't start on time. Uh, my internet is slow today. But even with that, I mean, before we freak everybody out with, by with what I just said, overall, what are your what is your overall opinion on the ability to work remotely from here? So yeah, I think it's just a matter of finding your place to work, uh, whether that's from home. Both of us do this uh, work from home. Uh, I've got a spare room that I use. I also have a WeWork membership in Escazú. There are two WeWork um, locations in Costa Rica. Uh, I go there when I want to be around people and well, and a and ton of other. Uh, co-working places. And, and there's a ton of other co-working places. There's Selena, there's um, all sorts of, you know, work from a hotel lobby. It all depends on where you're at in the country and kind of your style of working. But just as you do in the United States or Canada or Europe, it's the same in Costa Rica. Um, there's really good uh, uh, Wi-Fi and, and cable internet uh, around the country. So find your place you can be productive. Yeah. I mean, I think that you know, a lot of people are like, oh, you're in the middle of the jungle. Well, this country is very well wired. There are very few, shockingly few places my phone drops out. I mean, there are a lot less places here than there are in Los Angeles that my phone drops out. Let's put it that way. Um, so phone coverage is good. Everybody is getting used to using WhatsApp. So that becomes easy here. Um, you talked about uh, internet, and the other thing is Starlink is now here, um, and they're they're just starting to roll out Starlink here. So for a lot of people, that will be a game changer. You know, places like where I live, where we can't get fiber um, because of the way that our our community is built, 
um, Starlink is going to be a savior for a lot of us. Yeah, it's going to be huge. Yeah. Absolutely huge. Um, and, and as a backup, uh, I, I rarely have problems uh, with my cable internet going out in both at the beach and in the city. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a, a, a battery backup on both uh, cable modems and uh, Wi-Fi routers, just in case anything goes wrong. They're 150 yeah. bucks at at Price Smart or Office Depot. Um, but but Starlink as a backup will be a, a game changer. Yeah, agreed. I have, and for me at my house, we have a solar backup, and so I have a, a bunch of batteries that store solar, and so I have like two and a half days of backup. Now I don't do my entire house on it because I don't need it, but like all the kitchen, the refrigerator, all that, the hot water, the security system, the Wi-Fi, uh, the office, so all the computers can work, and of course, the TV. So, um, you know, we, do you, if you really think about it logistically, cable, you know, Wi-Fi fine, cell fine, locations aplenty. What about the cost of equipment and things here? I, I know both of us had to set up some office stuff. I, I more than you, I had to get a printer and things. I don't think you did. Um, are you, is it easy to get what you need here? Yeah, I mean, Office Depot, uh, there's a, actually a number of locations of Office Depot. You can yeah, get they're, yeah, they're you know, monitors, you can get keyboards, computers, although computers are generally more expensive, obviously more expensive because they're imported. So I buy in the States and bring them down. Um, but if you need, you know, post-it notes <laughs> or, right. Right. uh, you know, a whiteboard, you can go to Office Depot, get those, no problem. Um, you know, cost of just while we're on the topic of cost, uh, cost of cable modems or cable internet was about 60 bucks a month, uh, both in the city and the beach. Uh, my cell phone plan is 25 bucks a month roughly um so yeah there's uh, cable and uh, internet connectivity is not that expensive no i mean if you really look at it it's not any more expensive than the states the difference is our cable we're also not getting cable like if you're getting you know like i don't know what cable package you have i have no cable package so i have an internet router and then i have um netflix and all those things but i don't have like cnn on cable Right. My my cable company showed up randomly at my door last week wanting to reduce the cost of my plan by a thousand colones and give me free TV. And I was like, I don't want this. Please go away. I so love the fact that possible. they just showed up. And this is at a beach, A, first of all. It's yeah. at the <laughs> they beach. They just showed up. <laughs> B, they had sent you, like, this woman had called you and you told her no and they showed up anyway. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, Pura Vida, what? right? Pura Vida, exactly. Okay, so this is a relatively short video because I think we've answered the questions we need. You can work here, it's easy to do. Um, you probably can't get a job unless you're visa in to do that. But most of us that come down here are working internationally in some way, shape or form anyway. Um, On Zoom anything? and email all day long. Yeah, it's really I easy. Know. I know. Well. You might have other questions and we answer it here. So if you do have questions, please feel free to write us at ola at yourportavita.com. Obviously, if you're watching this, you've probably seen that we have lots of links, we have lots of blogs, and we have lots of YouTube videos. So feel free to go to yourportavita.com slash links to connect to all that. We really do love hearing from you. One of the things that we hear a lot is that they love that we engage. And that's really important to us. Our job at Your Puerto Vida, the company that we have, is to help people think about and move here and then thrive once you're here. So the more questions we can answer, the better opportunity you have to really thrive one and move here. Absolutely. Looking forward to the conversations that result uh, in this video. So shoot us an email or shoot us a comment. And until next time, Patrick, it's been this has been a fun one. Pura yeah. Vida. Short and sweet. Pura Vida. See you guys.